students, welcome to English lesson. The theme of our lesson today is please help. Please be ready with your papers and pens. Today we will read an email of advice, learn some tips to write the email. On our previous lessons we talked about fears and phobias. We've got a letter from Jake asking for advice. Let's read an extract from Jake's letter. I'm so afraid of dogs. I can't go to friends' homes that have dogs, and I feel terrified every time I see one in the street. What can I do? Let's write a response. Before we write, let's think about these questions. Number one. What style will you write in and why? You're right. The email will be in informal style because Jake is a friend. Number two. Which of the following greetings, endings could you use? What do you think? We can use Hi Jake, best wishes Dan or Jake regards them. That is good. Number three. Which of the following pieces of advice could you give to Jake? Can you think of any more advice? Of course, we can say watching dogs from the distance is a good advice. Very good. Let's continue. What is informal style? Informal style is used to write to friends, relatives and other people because Jake is a friend. Now we are ready to read an email and find the examples of informal style. Let's check your answers. We use informal style in greetings like Hi Jake, in short forms, also in phrasal verbs, and of course when we say goodbye. Very good. Now let's answer the question. How many paragraphs can you see? Please look at Dan's letter. You are right, we can see three paragraphs – introduction, the main body and, of course, conclusion. Now, our next task is to match the descriptions AC with the paragraphs 1-3. Please follow my reading. Hi, Jake. It must be awful to be afraid of dogs, but I think I can help you get over it. Just remember that it is very common phobia, so you are not alone. The best thing to do is to try to conquer your fear by going to sit in park, for instance, and watching dogs, either owners, from a distance. This way you will gradually get used to dogs. If I were you, I'd find somebody you know with a very friendly dog and ask them if you can take it for a walk. Then once you are holding the dog's leash and are leading the way, you will gain confidence and see there is nothing to fear. If this doesn't work, you could go and talk to a counselor. A professional will know exactly how to help you. I really hope these ideas are useful. Let me know how you get on. Best wishes, Dan. Now let's check your answers. A is the paragraph number two, advice with possible results. 
B is number three, expression of hope that things will get better. C is number one, expression of sympathy and reason for writing. Very good, let's continue. Let's answer these questions. What is Dan's advice? What possible results does he mention for each piece of advice? Let's check. Dan's advice is to watch dogs from a distance to gradually get used to them. He also advises taking a friend's dog for a walk to gain confidence and see there is nothing to fear. Finally, he advises seeing a professional who will know exactly how to help him. Very good. Dan has used some phrases in his email. Let's have a look at them. The best thing to do is to This way, if I were you, you could and then Please answer the question, which of them express or give result or give advice? Please take your time. Let's check your answers. The best thing to do is to... Of course, this phrase is used to give advice. This way is used to express the result. If I were you, you could also give advice. And the last one is then. Very good. Now replace the phrases with the alternatives from the useful language box. Students, please pay attention to the useful language box because you can use these phrases in your email. The best thing to do is to You should If I were you, you can replace it with this phrase It would be a good idea too You could why don't you? This way, if you do this, and then by doing this. Very good. Different people have different problems. Let's read the problems and then let's read the advice. Your task is to match the problems 1 4 to the advice AD. Please take your time. I'm sure you are ready with your answers. Let's check. Number one, I'm so afraid of spiders. I can't stay in the room if I know one is there. And the correct answer is D. Speak to a psychologist. They will help you get over your fear of these creatures. Number two, I have a difficult exam next week. I'm afraid I'll fail. Try meditating or doing yoga. This will help you to study and relax. Number three. I'm terrified of traveling by plane. I can't go on holiday with my friends. Do some internet research about flying. You will discover how safe it is. Number four. I have to give a presentation in class soon. I'm worried I'll make a fool of myself. Try to breathe deeply and look your audience in the eye. Their approving nods will give you the encouragement you need from them. Well done. Let's continue. Now our task is to match the advice in the column A to the results in the column B. Please take your time.
Let's check your answers. Number one is B. Imagine yourself at the barbecue feeling relaxed and confident. You will enjoy the barbecue as you are already expected to. Number two is A. Ask a friend to go with you. You won't have to face your fear alone. Very good advice. Number three. Focus on other people instead of your feelings. The correct answer is C. You will hopefully forget your anxiety and start enjoying yourself. Well done! Now our task is to look at the closing remarks in the useful language box. I want to pay your attention to the useful language box again and please read closing remarks. I hope I've helped. I hope I've been of some help. Let me know what happens and write and tell me how you get on. These phrases will help us to finish our letter. Let's see some examples. I hope I've helped. I'm sure you will get rid of your problem soon. Hope my advice was helpful. Let me know what happens. I hope I've been of some help. Write and tell me how you get on. Very good. You can use these phrases in your emails. Write your own email of advice. Your English friend is taking exams next month, but he's stressed about them. He has written an email to you asking for your advice about dealing with stress. Today we have done a lot. We have read an email of advice Learn some tips to write an email of advice. I hope these tips are very helpful for you. Our lesson is over. Thank you. Goodbye.